everybody, how's it going? So what I wanted to show here is how to back up your game saves and have multiple game saves for games that don't have multiple game saves. Um, I wanted to do this specifically for uh, uh, World of Final Fantasy because uh, I would like to keep the save I have, which I want to do like 100% you know have everything on and then I want to make other saves so that uh, I can speed run the game or you know make multiple saves at certain places in the game so then I can test certain things or figure out stuff so I'm just gonna show you how to make multiple saves here so the first thing you want to do is go into settings um, and you want to scroll down to uh, application saved data management um, now there's some options here, uh, the system storage, the first option there, uh, that's where your current save is, so that's, you know, when you save the game, it saves onto system storage. So you're, wanna get, you're gonna wanna go into that, and then uh, what's required for you to make these backups and these additional saves is uh, copy to USB uh, storage device, which you just, buy a flash drive. Uh, I'm taking a flash drive from 10 years ago. No, yeah, maybe maybe 10 years ago. It has like 512 megs on it or something like that. Does it even, no. Yeah, something like that. So anyway, uh, taking I'm just taking a random flash drive that's old and I'm gonna back up my files to it. So you select copy to USB storage device. Um, and you'll see a list of games here. Um, the only game I have on this system is World of Final Fantasy. So when you tap on that, there, there will be a list of saves here. Now, the game itself doesn't let you store um, multiple saves or load from multiple saves. It doesn't have that mechanic built into it. So uh, all... What you're gonna, gonna what you're gonna do is just simply select this save and then hit copy, and it will copy it to your USB device. Now I've already went through and done this, so I already have a save on the device. Um, it'll just come up with like a little like you know copying dialog, and then it'll say complete, and it's fine. So once it's on the USB drive, um, you can go into the USB drive. I'm just backing up out of here and. Uh, I'm going to want to pick save data on USB storage device and then you'll see options here copy to system storage so this will let you copy the save back. Now what I did you'll see that the file size is a lot larger that's because I took the USB drive out I plugged it into uh, my laptop that's over here all I did the the save file um, I would assume this is probably the same for other games uh, the save file that is created is, uh, is actually two small files, um, uh, and uh, they're named like bin 0000, and the other one's bin 0000, and then uh, some uh, suffix, like some extension name. I don't, I don't remember what it was, but like say it's .sav or something like that. Anyway, you have those two files that are there. All I did was take those two files, copy paste them, and I named, uh, I changed the names so that it's bin 0001 for each of the files, you know, the one with the extension and, one, and the one without an extension, and then put them, you know, in the same folder as the normal save that's there. So when I select copy to system storage for this game now, you'll see there are two saves. Again, it is the same save file I copied, but you could essentially, um, since the since the saved game is always going to be for for World of Final Fantasy in this case, bin 0000. All you need to do is name all the other saves that you want uh, something above 0000, like 0001 or 0002. So. Um, then you can just have a list of saves here, and whenever you copy from system storage, it won't overwrite, you know, the 0000 save. That'll be the new save, the one that you want to rename to something else. Um, this might even work 
uh, if you name the files, like whatever you want, I'm not sure. I don't know how it determines these are valid saves and stuff, and I don't know exactly how it copies it over to the system storage. Uh, let's try that right now. So the second one should be the 0001 that I made. So I'm going to select copy. Ah, so uh, do you want to overwrite this save data? So it asks you, so that must not be it. Uh, no. So I'm going to actually select this one. This must be the new one. Maybe it, uh, maybe they're in like, uh, you know, descending, yeah, descending like date time order. So let's see here. Copy. No, it always asks that. So that playtime, USB storage, it has a date, 11.13 p.m. What does the other one say? They both say 11.13, oh, because they're, they were saved at the same time, right? That makes sense. It's, it's, this, it's the, not the file date time, it's the time that I saved the game. So, uh, I guess, wait, can I copy? Maybe it doesn't keep the names. I don't know. Either way, there is a way to copy the game, whatever save you want, back to the game. And it will and it will obviously override what's on the system, and then it will load that save. Like I said, I can't select multiple saves. I was hoping that I could copy both of these over and like select one in the game. Let's see what let's see what that does. So yes. Yes. Okay, so copy two files. So let's check the system storage. No, there's just one file. It overwrites. It realizes that the game can only store one save. So you're not going to be able to have multiple saves in the game, and there'll be some UI that allows you to select the saves, like in most Final Fantasy games, for example. Unfortunately, this can only copy one save back to the system. But it is still useful for the cases that I want to use it for, like, oh, I want to select that save that uh, has all the all the mirages and all the stuff in the game so that I can test out some things. Or I want to copy over save that's at a certain point in the game. You know, I can make test saves and I can go with them. This is also useful for, you know, family situations. You want to back up your save and then let somebody else play the game. You can just back up the save and let them delete the save on the system. You know, when they when they go into the game, they'll just say new game and it will just remove that save. So you can always keep your saves somewhere else. So that's it. So I wanted to show off. Um, I hope it's been useful. I mean, it's minimal cost. You just have a flash drive, copy the saves there, rename them to to other names so that you can have multiple listed and you're good so have a good one